you've gotten really good at uh, this Fendi film, and I see you've about completed a project here. And I was hoping you could uh, show everybody some of the techniques that you've refined with uh, using the Fendi film. You want to show everybody? Yeah, no problem. Time? All right, super. All right. What we have here is we got 75% of the uh, project done. I'm going to put an extra utility knife here as a backup. Um, one thing that we like to use is the fast cap double-sided pens. You have a fine tip pen on one end and a fat marker on the other. Um, I like to use the fine tip pen and you just come in here and press firmly of where you're going to set it up. One thing with this process is you got to set up the project as a dry run of how everything's going to organize in your drawer before you start marking. Um, I got this set up. This was pretty productive for us and fit everything that we need. So we're going to finish off with the knife. Just do a nice light trace coming around, firmly holding the object that you're tracing. So that way you don't mess up on that. And one thing that I've learned with this process too, Norm, is this is a... a type of system that you don't want to be rushing. Um, that way you don't have to redo stuff, which obviously one of the eight, eight ways of lean is defects. So we can go ahead and uh, kind of go nice and slow and make sure we do it right the first time. So it's a finesse thing. For sure, it definitely okay. is. Makes sense, makes sense. Um, one thing is uh, something skinny like this, we don't really need to take too much of a measurement, but if you wanted to put something in as a tape measure or something thick, what I like to do is use these uh, inexpensive utility knives and just kind of gauge by measurement and adjusting the knife of how thick I want to cut into the foam. Um, for a utility knife that we're putting in, we don't really need to worry about that, so I'll bring the razor blade down or the utility knife down just a little bit. Um, I, got my, I have my utility knife all marked out here. Um, I like to hug the line really, really tight and then also come on a little bit of a 45 degree angle. Just go nice and slow. You're not going to get it absolutely perfect but just strive for that perfection so everything's nice and tight. Just work yourself around. Finish it off. And I like to go around just one more time just to make sure everything's cut around the existing foam. At that point, it's already cut all the way around. Come in here with your fingers and just kind of gently Massage the foam that you're taking out to replace with the utility knife nice and easy so it doesn't rip um, on the bottom end of it. And one thing that's nice about this Kaizen foam, which we call Fendi foam, is it's manufactured in layers. So if you need something that's really thin like utility knife, it comes out in a nice thin layer. Um, one thing too with different objects that you're putting in, if you want to clean up the edges a little bit, you'd grab the little melting foam melting rod, heat it up with a torch, get some good heat on it, and then just come and go very slowly around the edges, but maintaining a speed around here because you don't want it to sit on the foam because it's very hot and it's going to melt the foam and just kind of make it a little, little ugly. Uh, one thing that we like to do too is once we have it put back in, See, I can see that I need to go a little bit deeper. So remember, you can always go deeper into it um, as you're doing it. So I'm gonna come back around, go a little bit deeper, so it sits in there very nicely. And then once again, go ahead with the process of pulling the foam out. So I know I wanna go a little deeper so I can dig down a little bit more, but still finessing the foam out of the cut. As you can see, that's a little deeper chamber for the utility knife. Plug, back, plug it back in, and it fits nice and snug. While you've got all the tools out, but would you show them how you actually do the, thin, the thumb the finger cuts as well? Yeah, that's no problem. What this does is it gives us access to easily remove uh, any type of the object that, you, that you're putting in. Uh, we'd, what I like to do is mark up where I'm actually gonna be putting the a thumb a little marker, pull the object out, get your copper melting rod, use your little propane torch. Don't need to get it super hot for this process. I concentrate on just getting the tip of it in, come where I marked, and just stick it in, let it sink a little bit, go to the other side, let it sink, 
And I like to get about three quarters of the actual circumference of the circle in there. Pull the little tab out. Stick it back in. And you got some nice finger, little finger spots to access the utility knife when you need to use it. Fantastic. Thank you for sharing that with everybody. I think that that will be incredibly helpful. I know it's been incredibly helpful here. It's been an uh, awesome uh, lean tool, which we call Fendi Foam, and it minimizes everyone's stress in finding work, work, the right tools to do the job. So, amen. Nice job. No problem. My pleasure. Thanks, Buck.